All right, good morning, everyone. Good morning. We are Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We are resellers full time in Lincoln, Nebraska. Rehomers of stuff. And it is Friday. Yay, yeah, it's Friday. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> when we do, when you work from home and by yourself, a lot of times you don't know what day it is, but I know it's Friday because this afternoon yeah. I'm going to the College World Series. I haven't been there like for 25 years. Ooh. And I got a message, asked to go, so I'm gonna go to College World Series. So I have a few hours, we're gonna film what sold, and we're gonna talk about, I think this is gonna be a fun video. If you have been watching us for a long time, and you kinda got to know us and our personalities, I think you're gonna enjoy the conversation in this video when we talk about some of the comments we've received. Yeah. We're gonna read some questions and some comments from our YouTube, and we're gonna answer a few questions, but we're gonna talk about a few comments that Donna got dragged on her birthday. Because <laughs> uh, I'm so terrible. She's but, but oh we'll get into goodness. that later. It is going to be a fun conversation, but we have, uh, I don't know, about 20 things or so to ship, so we're gonna get into that first. Hey, first off, before we show what sold, I want to say thank you to all of our new viewers. Oh my goodness, we are at 1712. Which is crazy. We have um, subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing. And we're going to shout out a few of our followers that we've either met or got messages oh, from. Oh, we got met, we met somebody that recognized us from YouTube in the middle of like nowhere yeah. in a little bitty town in a thrift store. We're going to tell you about that too. Yes. Um, but first well, off. Yeah, let's pull a few orders and we'll yeah. get into that stuff. First off, Donna, we're going to grab that box way back there. You see it on top I there? Do. When we went to, we went to Kansas for two days to see friends for Donna's birthday and we actually put the store on time away mode because we didn't know we might have a clean out and we didn't know if we'll be doing it. So we had it on time away mode. So this actually sold like Tuesday morning and it's shipping out today. This is a Honold House, ha Haunted House <laughs> Candle Luminary and from Bath and Body Works from 2010. And it's Do you sold wanna for, pop up a picture so they can see it? Sure, and it sold for $35. Oh, and it is going to Ohio. We only have four states left. We need so. Montana, Alaska. Ooh, and my Alaska flowers are blooming, you guys. Yes. And Vermont and New Hampshire. All right, we got a couple clothing items. This is uh, number 746. This is an Admiral Vintage Soccer uh, Jacket. This sold for $15 and it is going to one of our favorite places in the whole country. Kentucky. Do you know where that is? Kentucky. Lexington, Kentucky. Lexington, Kentucky. Actually to Manowar Boulevard, which is like two blocks, like my, our kid lives right off of Manowar Boulevard. Yeah. So that's kind of fun. Uh, and then we have a pair of jeans here, just some Levi's 505s. These just sold for $8 and they're going to Indiana. Okay, not too far from there. All right, Box and Donna, our right, box in Donna 60. <laughs> Donna in box 60. Oh, oh that's in back here. in here. Oh my goodness. You I have filled it? this one. Filled it up, did you? I did. All right, we're looking for Charming Paws Galore. It is a purse from the Animal Rescue site. This one is new. There it is, Paws Galore. A little purse with a bag and that sold for $20 and it is going to Michigan. Okay. Anything else in 60? I do not believe so. <clears throat> oh, yes. Actually in box 60. <laughs> hey, you didn't get it all the way put away. We're looking for six green depression plates. Uranium swirl pattern plates. I just listed those, you guys. I had taken a picture to put them on dollar, but looked them up and saw that they were worth a little bit more. So I went ahead and put them on eBay and they sold like two days later. Yeah, set of six of those sold for $26.99 and they are going to Kansas. All right, here comes Donna with 106. We have two things in here, right there. This sold this morning. That's our little Pikachu we got a couple weeks ago Pika, at garage Pika. sale. And that sold for $70 plus shipping. We paid $20 for him at a garage sale. This one is going to a viewer, right? Yes, this one the viewer sent a message and we're gonna read the message. Actually, message it on YouTube. 
So this is Tupperware Midget Salt and Pepper Shakers. Uh, Donna pulled these out of the box the other day and then had to put them back in the box. So this sold, and then we got a message on the YouTube. First of all, it's sold for $9.99, and it is going to uh, Washington. And so then right after it sold, we got a message on YouTube, and it says, new subscriber here, not from your storage unit video, though, from your Rollo versus Mun Bun thermal printer view video from a year and a half ago. Okay, first off, I want to address that. We have this, we did a video like a year and a half ago, and, you know, I basically, I got a Rolo printer, and I use a Mun Bun, and so the, if you look at the thumbnail, I've always not really liked this video, because it looks like I'm doing a actual in-depth review between Rolo and Mun Bun, and it really wasn't. It was just a discussion of, should I switch to the Rolo or keep my Mun Bun? And <laughs> you know what? That video, if you look at this graph, this is its lifespan over the last year and a half, and it just keeps going up. Just slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race, and it keeps going up. So that's fun. So thank you for checking us out. I'm glad you watched that video. Yeah. Thank you for the purchase. And then they said, I liked the Tupperware salt and pepper shakers in the video, so I went ahead and bought them. Unfortunately, I live in a state that's already colored in on your map, and I hope you added Mr. Blotto to your blocked buyer list. We did not add them to the block buyer list. That's from the pink uh, calculator that we talked about in the last video. Oh. <laughs> but foreshadowing, uh, we don't have to worry about them buying that uh, calculator anymore. And Drew. Drew. This is from Drew. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. Yes. For watching and for purchasing yes. the salt and pepper shakers. Shout out to you, Drew. So there will be a sticker in your package and a thank you card if I remember them. I'm trying really hard to remember oh them. Oh, my but goodness. I she will, doesn't know this, I but I forget, it. like... Like a third of them, but I'm trying. I'm okay, trying, guys. I'm putting it with it right now. <laughs> okay, it's with it. I'll I'll be sure to remember that. There, yeah. <laughs> All right. No, any, what else is in here then? You yeah, there's there one more in here, and then we'll talk about some of these things. Oh, this. This is another 25 cent buy from a garage sale. It is a. How do you say that? I don't know. B a u h a u. Brahas. Raw house? Raw house, I would Raw say. Raw house? Raw house. Raw house. Anyway, vintage creamer. And I got it for 25 cents and it sold for $20.66. $20.88. 88 cents, yes. And it's going to California. Oakland, California. Oakland, California. Um, didn't, yeah. didn't have any idea till we looked it up at home. I just picked it up because it looked a little unusual. Yeah. Cool. Bye. Yeah. Good job, Donna. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to talk about a few of these comments on YouTube, and we, but first we want to give a shout out to David. David, we were shopping in Sterling, Kansas. And uh, population like 2,300, like yes. middle of nowhere. A little bitty thrift store. They just opened not too long ago, and I'm looking around, and my friend Ruth and Larry are in there with me, and Steve's out looking at clothes in a different area. And I went through the door, and somebody said, hey, what's, what's Happy Heart Treasures doing here? Or <laughs> something like that. And I'm like... <laughs> What do I know? You know, and and you know how you look at people and you think, do I know you? I know you, but do I know you? Anyway, it turned out, David, thank you for saying hello. We gave him a sticker. We took a picture with him. Oh, here's the picture. Yep. Um, with David and our friends Ruth and Larry. Um, but it was so nice to have somebody come up to us, as you say, out in the wild. <laughs> yeah, and that, and it was funny because I was minding my own business, and then Donna hollers over actually like Steve and I'm like yeah she goes happy heart treasures or something like that and I'm like what because she thought I sent him over there to say that like, I to did. mess with her yes. but no he he approached us and that was awesome he said he saw you first and he thought I know him and then he saw me and I must be unforgettable <laughs> yeah we're, we're pretty <laughs> no. unforgettable all right anyway he said he was sure it was us then and, and said we got hello. to talking and then uh grams and pops had a live just a couple weeks ago that we were on and he won uh, magic eight ball in that decision yeah, maker so, so he just got the magic eight ball from them that was crazy all right and david does not youtube but david has an ebay store and it is called high plains flipper so yeah. you can check that out but and then larry of course gave me a hard time then because we can't go anywhere with you guys. You're so famous. <laughs> just get recognized everywhere. No. Like, yeah, not a problem. But, yeah, thank you so much, David. That was awesome. That was so cool. All right, we're going to talk about just a couple other of the nice comments we got right now. And we'll save the juicy ones for later. <laughs> First of all, just a couple international viewers I want to shout out. 
Uh, we got Aaron Barclay 5316. The booth looks great. This was about our storage or our uh, antique booth video. Congratulations on your new adventure. Sending you both lots of love from Canada. I would Aww. put hearts surrounding your logo. I think it would make it pop. Yeah, several people said something about our logo needs a border around of some kind. We're going to do gonna something I'm going to work with on that. that so thanks for viewing from Canada. Yes. And then we also have, uh, it looks like Lin Lin Jeffries 9921. Hi, just came across your channel. Very impressed. So new subscriber, Lin Lin from England. That so is so cool. Across the pond, as they say. <laughs> Or something. You are goofy. That's what they say across the pond. Okay. It's Lin -Lin, a pond. Is that what they say? <laughs> so, anyway, thank you so much for watching. We yes, really appreciate thank it. Thank you. A couple other comments we want to just mention here. Uh, Karen Keon, 4623. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. This was from the storage unit video, and there was a bunch of old food in that storage unit. Mm. People die from food poisoning. Best move is to throw throw that old food out, not worth getting sick from it. Best part of the video was hearing husband singing Beth. <laughs> I'm an old Kiss fan. <laughs> I wanted to mention that because this old man can't sing. So you you oh, commenting he can. that? I hear him singing in the shower. <laughs> I hear him singing I in don't his sing office. In the shower. Yes. I do sing. When I have music yes. on, I do sing if nobody's around. But he used to do yeah. some mad karaoke. You guys. I used to do some mad alcohol fueled karaoke. He's not that way anymore. <laughs> I I don't I yeah, I don't know. It'd take a lot to get me up on a stage anymore. <laughs> but anyway, so hey, thanks for Thanks for watching and thanks for appreciating good music. Uh, and then we have uh, on the when we talked about different garage sale areas. Yeah. Um, Patty Payne five two four two said since there are two of you split up like Pro Picker Ohio and his wife do that way they cover twice as many sales. Um, we can't do that for well we won't do that for a couple of reasons. Number one, when we went full time and just started working for ourselves, we were still had a car payment that we were paying like four hundred fifty or five hundred dollars yeah. for. So we decided to try, just give it a go and try just seeing if we can live on one vehicle. And we have been doing it now for three years. Like, we don't have a second vehicle. That means he usually has to drive me around. Yes, yeah, she's my passenger princess, <laughs> as my kids say. Um, there are times, especially when the car has to go in the shop, there are times it's an inconvenience. But for the most part, I would say 300 and... 40 or 50 days out yeah. of the year it's it's really not an issue at all and it's pretty nice honestly but yes. so we don't have a second vehicle and then secondly we really don't look for the same things as sales i walk right by stuff that she looks at he walks and right by the glass she if she's <laughs> however if donna sees some old beat up nasty golf clubs she's I'm sure hoping. to like keep I'm keep telling me hey hey, hey look, look at the at golf those. clubs look, look at the golf those. clubs and they're just really Our games just nasty <laughs> yeah i'm like steve did you see the games and he's like yes i saw so the yeah games. she tries to help me a lot but but yeah we 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 don't look for enough of the same stuff that i think we I think we actually do better by being at the same sale yeah. because we really look at it more thoroughly. And if I find something that's just kind of on a whim, he uh, can keep me in line a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then also my mom said, what, no Herb Alpert? This was on a video a few weeks oh, yeah. ago. No Herb Alpert. So the running joke here is last year or two, every time you go to garage sale, there's always every Herb Alpert time. in the records because they're all old records. And so I would always send her pictures of the Herb Alpert. I'd take a picture and I'd send her a picture of the Herb Alpert record. And I'd be like, yep, we're out garage selling. Here's Herb. And this year we we bought one. We found one and bought it in a video. And mm -hmm. I think that's the only one I've seen. Like we when we They're find not... records, I'm, I'm actively looking for Herb Alpert just to send her a picture. Somebody got them all. Somebody bought all the Herb Alperts, I think. I don't know, maybe. Uh, something. So, no herb <laughs> yet, but we're working on it. All right, then we got one more we're going to do right now. It's Judy Home MI. I'm guessing maybe home is Michigan. I'm not sure. Uh, you guys work so well together. Always enjoy your videos. Older neighborhoods, great conversations, surprisingly vintage buys. Off topic question. So, thank you for the compliment. Yes. And then we have a few questions here from Judy. You may have so many, you have so many outlets for reselling and sourcing along with family and social time, mom and friends. Have you ever considered doing a video on time management, maybe in the winter non-garage sale season? We fly by the seat of our pants. We. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not all the time. We've talked, so we've been doing this for three years full time and we talk all the time. Donna all the time like talks to me about setting up a schedule and on these days we do this and on these days we do that and it absolutely... The best laid plans, you know, it's, it's like they say, you know, it, 
Yeah, it, it we complete. So yesterday was Thursday. Here's for example. Yesterday was Thursday. We have somebody that's a friend that's having a garage sale. We wanted to go to their garage sale to support them. And then we also had a YouTube viewer that commented on last week's garage sales and talked about which ones they'd go to. And then they said her and her daughter are having a garage sale um, this weekend. And so we're like, well, we're definitely going to stop by there, right? So we had two we wanted to go to. And we had fully intended to go to. And then we got a message the night before. Yeah. And it was like. Um, From one of the realtors. We went and did our, our little spiel at, at a realtor's uh, meeting. Yeah. And there was a family that's moving on Monday. So they they have all this stuff. And they were had a donation set up for one of the local charities. And to come get the stuff out of the garage. And they. They couldn't get a truck. They flaked on them, I guess, is what they said. She said they flaked on them, but we are thinking it's the height of garage sales and donations and stuff like that. So they were probably pretty darn busy, and it was a lot of stuff. So it would have taken a truck. Yeah. So anyway, they they had nowhere to go with this stuff. They didn't know what to do with it. They needed it gone. They don't have a truck. They just have a couple, yeah. of, you know, cars. And so we got contacted by the realtor. So we set up an appointment to go look at it and we removed it for them. Um, we had to go rent a trailer. It was a, like 95 degrees it yesterday. It was so hot. Side note, they're moving to Alaska with the military. Which kind is, of the same kind of thing our kid just did. Yeah, which was a fun and, conversation yeah, to have. Yeah. But yeah, so we ended up spending like all day doing this and then trying to, and it wouldn't all fit between our storage unit and our garage. It wouldn't all fit. So then last night we were kind of frantically trying to sell this couch and just to kind of have a little room to move around. So everything... Everything we usually plan just blows Urge up in our face. So we hall. didn't go to any garage sales. And then today we have to, we're filming and then I have to ship and then I'm going to Omaha for College World Series. So today's so maybe out. maybe tomorrow we can hit those two garage so sales. So we're talking about maybe tomorrow morning. I mean, they'll all be picked over, but it basically more would be more to support yeah, yeah. them. Um, but so we might get out there tomorrow, but that's the th problem is other than having to ship certain days he ships about every other day so usually three and yeah, normally days a i ship week. monday wednesday friday yeah. unless it's a holiday week but mm -hmm. other than that we really don't can't make too many plans and or thursdays or are usually garage routine. sale days yes unless it's winter time thursdays we usually go garage sales but and the rest of the time is when we get up and have my coffee because i need my coffee <laughs> yeah so time management this and this can roll into the next question that she asked okay the next questions were do you have a set schedule for listing days or listing hours do you do listing at night do you have a goal in mind for how many listings you want to do each day and do you schedule your listings in advance a lot of questions there. The answer to almost all of them is no. <laughs> yes, we, we list at night. We, we list whenever we can. We work late into the night. So yeah, sometimes. Do we list them on dollar auction? Yes, until about 10, 1030. Do we list on eBay? Anytime that we can get it, yeah. we do. There's no set time that we push them out or anything. No. We don't save them. As soon as we've uh, put them together, we do list them. Um, so if we can do 30 in one day, we do 30 in one day. And if we can't do any the next day, then we don't do any. So yeah, a lot of people talk about YouTube or YouTube, uh, eBay and the algorithm and listing consistently every single day. And that's what gets sales and blah, 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 blah. I'm not telling you that that's not accurate. And I'm not telling you that we don't believe that, but with our schedule and the way we do things, and sometimes the dollar auction is more important because it's big pieces or it's not eBay. Yeah. And sometimes or we need to empty the garage yeah, and move it fast or whatever. Yeah, furniture and stuff. Some days we just don't get anything listed. And that we, we don't like that. We don't like that at just all. Just the way it is sometimes. But it is what it is. And so far we've still get enough sales that we support mm -hmm. ourselves. So we've tried to do that where you list every day. And we, you know, we know people that they'll make listings and they won't release them until they'll release so many each day or so much money worth each day. And that seems to work really well for them. And that's awesome. I actually wish that we had kind of a routine schedule like that, but we don't. So when we're listing, yep. we list when we get a chance. And, and, you know, some days it's everything just to get out in the garage and just, to, you know what, I'm going to go list just a few things. And, and it's but, kind of like when we work, we go. Whichever direction uh, no, we feel like and we, we need work, to go. Yeah. Yeah. You know. We do work a lot. Anybody that watches these types of videos and thinks oh that looks easy i'm gonna do that 
It's not. We do work a lot. We work very hard. We work late. Late. We don't set an alarm in the morning. We kind of got over that whole corporate mindset there. We have to, <laughs> you know, and some people, people that work for themselves will tell you, uh, unless you're setting your alarm at 6 a.m., you know, you're, you're not being successful or whatever. Well, whatever. Well, sometimes if you wake up at 536 in the morning, you get up and do your computer work yeah. and stuff like that. Sometimes, you know, like this morning, I was up at 530 for whatever reason. So did the dishes and, you know, kind of stuff like that. But normally we sleep later. We stay up later. Yeah. And another benefit we have is we don't have any kids at home anymore either. If you're doing this and you got kids at home, you need a routine. You oh, need yeah. a set schedule. And we just don't. So mm -hmm. anyway, to answer all those questions, now we basically, now Donna does have, she keeps a goal sheet. Like she tracks everything and she tracks how many listings we do each week. And we do have a goal of each doing day. so many listings each week. She tracks them for each day. How many did we do? So we do you know, in midweek and then later in the week, she'll, yeah, we she'll kinda, tell me where we're at or whatever. So we do try to hit goals. review it midweek. So it's like, oh, we need to do this many more. Or we need to get yeah. to this before the end of the week, something like that. So he knows where we're at. So it's not like we're just <laughs> completely willy nilly, as they say. <laughs> she did. We do have goals each week, um, but we don't kill ourselves if we don't hit them either, but we do try. So yeah. um, there's that. And then there was one last question on there. I said, Judy, I said, Judy home. Am I it's July home. Am I so, Oh, so I'm sorry if your name's not Judy. And if it is, it's, I'm really smart. It's not, it's um, July. <laughs> is their name July? I don't, I don't know. know. That's just a username. username. Yeah. Anyway, the last question on there. What is your dollar auction? And then it says lots of questions. Appreciate both of you and your hard work. P.S. Donna's tattoo is spot on. Donna, show your tattoo. Her tattoo. Tell about your tattoo. It's walk worthy. Colossians 110. And basically without looking it up, there are a couple verses that talk about this, but walk worthy so that others who see you will know you're a believer by your actions. Yep. Basically is what that means. Yep. And although we don't always do that, as we'll talk about in a little bit. Not to bring glory Donna's to behavior. myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get into some fun stuff. Um, not to bring, you know, any attention to myself, but to point it to walk worthy so that others will see the difference and be led to the Lord. That's what it is. Not to bring affirmation to myself at all in any way. Yeah. So anyway. Very cool. Uh, that was our first tattoos we got for, was it Christmas? Show yours. Did we do that for Christmas? No, we did that I'm right sure after, see it plenty right of times, before but COVID. Right before COVID, I got a cross yeah. and she got that walk worthy and that's our, that's our only tattoos we have. Oh, dollar auction, very quickly, because yeah, this is getting on. <laughs> this is getting long. Dollar auction, very quickly, it is a Facebook group. group. There's a couple different named ones here in town. And Usually they are local to your city or, or your county. county mm -hmm. Or your area, like maybe a Tri-Cities area, area or something. Yeah. Um, and they're just a place where they have 24-hour dollar auction sales. So we just take pictures, you list something, it's on for 24 hours. Starts at a dollar. Starts at a dollar in increments of dollar. Nobody can bid like a dollar fifty or anything. It has to be at least whole dollar One, amounts. One, three, ten, twelve. They can jump or whatever, yeah. but it has to be whole dollar amounts. And then at the end of the 24 hours, when it with the minute it ends, the highest bidder before the ending time actually changed uh, gets it for that amount. And then you arrange pickup or delivery or whatever you're doing. So that's the dollar auction. And we they move have 48 a lot of things. hours to pick it up. So, you know, if you have any other questions or want more details, message us about that. Yeah, we, we have might a, do a video on we that. We have like a pickup section set up with cameras and all that stuff. And we do move a lot of things on the dollar auction. I mean, well, we used to move a lot of things on the dollar auction, but we've been tapering it down quite a bit and moving more on eBay yeah. now. So anyway, that's the dollar auction. Let's get pulling to more videos and then we'll come to Donna's birthday comments. Oh man. <laughs> All right, Donna, box 34. 34. That's heavy too. Oh, that's heavy too, she says. It's all them breakables that you list. Show muscles. We're looking for a couple piggies. Frosted oh, the little ones. Piggies. Little baby piggies. Westmoreland. All right, let's open those up. All right, here's one. It's two of these. And it's a little frosted piggy. Just a little figurine. Yeah. And that sold for $12, and that is going to Pennsylvania. Next up was part of the fire engine, firehouse, fire everything by 
Um, there was something I thought was really unique. I couldn't find much information on it. And so I put it on a seven day auction. And here's what it is. They're old friction cars. You know when you run the wheels and they have friction or whatever. And these are 10 assorted cars. Still new in the package. RHI brand. And it ran a seven day auction and it sold for $37.68. And it's going to California. So I'll package that up nicely. All right, next up we have just a little golf instructional video. I should probably watch instead of sell, but I'm gonna <laughs> sell it. It's a lot of three Revolution Golf uh, instructional videos, DVDs, and it sold for $8.39. That's going out. And last night we were winding down for the day. It was pretty late at night and a cha-ching came through and Donna, said, and Donna didn't say anything because I just grabbed my phone and I looked at it and I just go, oh no. And she's like, <laughs> she's like, what's oh no and I'm like we just sold something she's like what was it <laughs> whatever yeah. we sold a VCR and I said oh no um, I know today's busy and so I'm like oh I don't want to ship a VCR today but I will absolutely ship a VCR today so this is a Mitsubishi VCR no remote and it sold for $39.99 and is going to Wisconsin and that's why we save all these boxes and these big boxes there's a couple different ones probably that black one will work great for that vcr it's actually a heavy duty box in there but so the mess is the mess is the mess is necessary. getting smaller absolutely uh and then we had a little foreshadowing earlier so i'm gonna grab box 92. okay in box 92 yes the calculator finally sold this morning got an offer for 25 and i counter offered i debated so I said on the video I wanted 30, so I counter offered 30 and they took it. So nice. And it was not the same buyer. So that sold for $30 plus shipping, and it is going to Texas. I'm gonna grab one more and then we're gonna talk about Donna's birthday. Her birthday fans. I will smile. That'll make me smile, Donna. <laughs> That's uh. not funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in box LS, this is a super soft, super cuddly. Oh my gosh. Super soft. It was Jay Boo's. <laughs> it was, this was Jada's. And this is a uh, Baby Gans stuffed animal elephant sold for $11.89. I think that's what it was. Yes, $11.89. And it is going to Minnesota to keep some little baby warm yes. in the winter. It's summertime though. So anyway, goodbye. It's so cute. Goodbye, Mr. Elephant. Goodbye. All right, let's talk about Donna's fans. I don't got any fans. <laughs> This is Donna's sad face. Donna, this, if you do YouTube, you have to have a thick skin. Especially okay, if you get, I, I will have a thick skin. Especially if you get, you know, get enough subscribers that you get a lot of strangers that watch your videos, which for some weird reason we have And you happen to, to have point. a video where you were the crankiest you've ever been, and that's the well, one that blows up. I don't think it's up. the crankiest you've yes, ever huh, been. on camera. Uh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> The video that is taken off, it is a storage unit video, and it's from, I think, February. I might be wrong, but it's from, like, five months ago. It's right the day before we went to get Luke from yeah. the airport. Yes, the day before. And it was so cold, so cold. Donna and was... We were we needed to hurry and, be you know, get a lot of things done before we went to get him. <laughs> and so I might have been... She was. She was. She was a little cranky, but... You know, and I, knowing that she's a little cranky, we try to offset each other. So I was a little more goofy and fun you than, guys, than usual. You guys, this is how the day works. We go in there. It's for rigid. It's freezing. The lights don't work. We open the thing up. It's full of food, rotten, yucky food. And then, you know, the light goes off as we're shooting the camera. And so I go down in the dark to turn the light on. And I fell over the freaking box. Which I was which was a funny leg. moment. It really was. She did hurt, hurt herself. I did. I hurt She's my looking leg. for sympathy votes now. And anyway. so I fell over the box and I came back and he's laughing. And then, oh my goodness, it was a terrible day. Anyway, about two weeks ago, but this then video. then we found money. This video started like blowing up, I guess, about two weeks ago. And it was getting a lot of views. And then on her birthday, it actually got the most views it's ever had in one day. But the day before her birthday, that's kind of started this. It was the day before her birthday, somebody said, you are a very bossy woman, but I am too. Ha ha, I kn know when you were born. 
kind of mean in the because their username is sixty eight, so they were born the same year. It's eighty one sixty eight, so we don't know if they were born the same year, I but bet they were. but they were from the kind of the same era of person, right? You're a very bossy woman. I am too. Ha ha. And Donna chuckled at that, and she's like, "Oh, that's kind of funny, you know? Yeah, I was kind of a little cranky in that video, a little bossy, whatever." And somebody previously, though, like a couple months ago, when it first came out, said, "Try a little patience." And I think we talked about that on yeah. the video because yeah. we were saying have a little patience. Well, yeah, exactly. But Donna's birthday was the next morning, and we woke up, literally woke up. And, you know, you wake up, you whatever, and then you look at your phone. And the first thing that Donna saw the morning of her birthday was her getting rolled on YouTube. So the first message on Donna's birthday morning was, I tried watching for the first time. He was really awesome and fun. <laughs> she was bossy and she triggered my anxiety. I can't watch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so... <laughs> That's her. Happy birthday, Donna. They can't watch because you're bossy and trigger her anxiety. And so... Read what I said. Well, first of all, we we laughed about it. Donna takes it well. We laughed about it. But then we sent that to our kids. And we're like, oh, look, on Donna's birthday, she got rolled. She got dragged on YouTube first thing in the morning. So then I said... Maybe a different video would be better. Dot, dot, dot. And you know what our oldest kid said, Dakin? Dakin, thank you, Dakin. Dakin says, there you go, being bossy again. <laughs> Shut your face! <laughs> so, so, we had a good laugh. Of course, I was able to use that and, you know, give her crap all, all day. All day long, you guys. He says, because I'm awesome and fun. And then, so we go to Kansas, and we're at our friend's house, and we're hanging out, and we're just having fun. It's her birthday. We did some thrifting and stuff, and then whatever. And then we get another video. That night. The same day. We sit there that evening and Steve starts laughing and I'm like, what? He goes, oh. I said, what'd they say? <laughs> and they, somebody said, you stay on his back trying to control his every move. You need to chill on the man. <laughs> Turn around. I want to get on your back. Yeah, yeah here you I, I can't even get on his back. Because <laughs> uh, he's, he's his own man. <laughs> so, yeah. Happy birthday, Donna. <laughs> I did say on the That's first one. That's why I said maybe a different video would be better because that video was just crazy. Was... He had just figured out how to do shorts, right? And so everything we came across, he was stopping and doing a short. So that's when I'm going, Steve, Steve, Steve. And he's doing a short. And I'm like, I found money <laughs> to get him to come faster. And that was bossy, I guess. I don't know. On the first one in the morning, I did respond, and I said, dang, you even said that on her birthday. I said, seriously, no need to be sorry. We're not for everyone. And believe me, if she wasn't a little bossy, I wouldn't get anything done, which is honestly true. Like Each, each relationship has a go-getter, and each relationship has somebody that keeps them grounded. Yeah. And I am like, I want to do everything. I want to do everything, and I want to do it right now. And Steve is the one that keeps us. All I know, all I know, I absolutely love this woman. She's my favorite person in the whole world. Oh, he's my favorite but, fella. But yesterday when we were loading the U-Haul and stuff, I'm glad we weren't videotaping or she would have got rolled some more. Y'all, it was hot <laughs> and, and she we was, needed to get her done. She, she was not having it. Any mistakes being made loading, she was not in a mood. Did it all fit? Absolutely. I never yeah, doubted that. It all fit. Anyway, so so fortunately you don't have a video to watch that, but anyway, so Donna took some uh took some body shots here in the last couple of days. So so uh, you know, be nice to her in the comments on this video at least. Oh, that's okay. I I can cry and, you know, I can, <laughs> I can, get over I can it. cry. <laughs> I get over it. Uh, and then one person did on the storage unit video and then we have like two other comments I just wanted to mention briefly on this. They were both from the storage unit video. One person said, please stop one handed filming. It's kind of hard to do it with both hands and hold your, <laughs> well, yeah. hold your <laughs> phone. Yeah. We don't like these videos and stuff. Do I like holding the camera? No, but I don't want to just have a camera set stationary and then we just like stand there in the same position, whatever. So we're going to keep one handed filming. I don't, and I don't know, you know. I don't know any other way to do it. This is just how we do it. And then and then the last comment we're going to read, this was funny, about the storage unit video, which we actually did really well on the storage unit. 
did. Um, but they said, don't know how I found this video, but boy, everything is crap. I can't believe this. I'm speechless. Start a GoFundMe and I will help you out. <laughs> cool. That's hilarious. I love it. That was from Plow King Willie 74. <laughs> Thanks, Plow King. <laughs> and so I responded back. I said, thanks for the support. I will send the link when we have that GoFundMe set up and running. <laughs> like That's that's hilarious. So Plow King, if you're still watching Plow King Willie, um, if you still stick around and you're watching us anymore, that was a good comment. I enjoyed that. He did. All right, we got a few more things to pull, and then I need to get to shipping so I can leave town for a bit. Uh, so let's get this Why? done. Why are you leaving town, Steve? I'm going to go watch some baseball. That's right. That's right. Because my bossy wife is letting me. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Let's go to box LW, Donna. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> These have been pretty popular. These have been pretty popular. Fintex um, Minute Crochet Slippers. Two packages of that yeah. to make some slippers. Those sold for $14. And they are headed off to Florida. Okay, Donna, in box 35, we have three Jack Dempsey needle art something, 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 something. All right, three of these white quilt block. They're patterns. saying, yeah, they're to make a tablecloth. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, those are sold for $12.99, and they're going to Sabatha, Kansas, which is Sabatha? not too far from here. Sabatha? Sabath, S A B E T H A. Sabatha? I don't know. I don't either. So, but Kansas. They're going to Kansas. Okay. And then we're going to box 20. This is from Bolt Estate. So, this is a long time ago. From Humboldt, Nebraska. This is one of our very first buyouts. Right? This is a little bitty perfume. Uh, 1960s. Looks like a lantern, like a lamp. Little bitty. Oh, there it is. There it is. This itty bitty one was a little perfume bottle that looks like a little miniature lamp. Yeah, it's a 1960s New York Fifth Avenue uh, There's the label. Lander Gardenia. Looks like perfume bottle. And it's over $10.49. And it is going to. It's going to Montana. Woohoo! Montana! Yeah, is that a viewer? That's, well, I don't know that it's a viewer. If that you're a saying. viewer and you picked out something little to buy in the store so we could have your state, thank you. And if you're not a viewer and you get the thank you card because I remembered it and you watched this, thank, thank you. you. Donna gets the color Montana now. What color? Yellow. Looks like yellow to me. All right, there it is. Donna colored in Montana. Look at that beautiful, beautiful map. You got this one space up here. Vermont, New empty. Hampshire, and Alaska. And Alaska. That's awesome. All right, one more sale to do. Donna, this was a fun find for you. It is in box 107. 107? How come it's not ringing a bell? It will. This was a fantastic buy from you. The journal stuff. Oh, this! I'm like, there's a coach bag. You guys. Okay, you guys. I picked this up for 50 cents, 50 cents, 50 cents, and 50 cents. This is a full focus planner. And it's got a magnetic closure. And it has goal setting. And it has your monthly review. It has daily rituals. And then it has weekly previews and then space to write and notes mm -hmm. and stuff and it has three fillers so what did you think when you picked it up i picked it up thinking i wonder if jada will want it for her new career as a teacher because she graduates next year yeah but then steve looked it up as he was doing the video and he said holy cow i'm like what $74.99, you guys. $74.99 that sold for. So a new Bolo full focus planner and or the fillers because the fillers are $19.99 online. Yeah. Selling for that online. Yeah. So yeah. $74.99 yeah. that is going to St. Louis, Missouri. Sorry, Jada. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that is it. Come here, Donna. Look at me boss around. Oh, get over here. Get off my back. 
get off my back, woman. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. I know this is kind of a longer video again. We're we hope sorry. you had fun. I like to ramble. Thank yeah, we you, hope thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed the conversation as much as we did. Yes. And keep the comments coming. We absolutely love them. We do. Even the mean ones. Be be mean to me this time, though. Give Don a break on this one. It's okay. I can take it. <laughs> I just cry, and he buys me a coffee, and I'm That's okay. That's when, when we started YouTube and when she wanted to push, push, push he it. You told me that. I told her. I said, if we get bigger at some point, like you'll start getting the people that are mean. And are you going to be okay with that? And I said, I can handle it. I'm tough. Yep. So she has to be able to handle it. Yeah. Handle it. Handle your business. Okay. All right. Thank you all for watching. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We are Happy Our Treasures. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.